bounce back time for Florida State and the Seminoles will have to do it in front of College Football Nation as the exclusive primetime game on Labor Day night. We got Steve Merrill on the line from wagertalk.com TV. Please join him right there uh, again for his selections with the NFL and college football as Florida State coming off that uh, brutal loss against Georgia Tech on a last second field goal. Steve uh, uh, over in Dublin, Ireland and Florida State's a 16 and a half point favorite at home against Boston College. Yeah, and the line's definitely been adjusted because of last week's result. There's no question about it, Mark. Um, we saw Florida State, we saw some look-ahead lines before the game as high as 21. It's now down to 16 and a half. It's even crossed below that key number of 17. And I point that out because my database simulation, 10,000 games run through the database, still has Florida State winning by about 20 points on average. So I think the opening number was more accurate than the current number, and there is actually value now with Florida State. They also have the edge of having a game under their belt. Now, it was a difficult tra travel spot having to go up to Ireland and now bounce back and play another conference game back-to-back -back weeks. But we see this a lot in the NFL preseason. The team that played a game already, like the Hall of Fame game, has a big edge in the preseason just having a second game versus a team with their first game. In college football, there is no preseason. So I think it's a substantial edge for Florida State having a game under their belt. Obviously, a disappointing result for Florida State last week. But I think they can build off of that. And this is a Boston College team that is very manageable uh, for the Seminoles. And once again, we are getting some line value on top of that. Um, Florida State's run offense was not impressive. They got out rushed by almost 90-some yards last week. That's going to have to improve. Um, and just once again, you just don't know how much to read into game one. There's always randomness. And then being an international game on top of that, I'm willing to give Florida State a little bit of a pass. This is still a top-10 ranked team coming into last week. And this line is now about a field goal too low. So the value is with Florida State in this game on Monday night. Steve's uh, selections for the NFL and college football and, of course, the Major League Baseball playoffs coming here in a few weeks at wagertalk.com. We appreciate Steve delivering his under-the-radar selection against the spread each and every week for us at the Voice of College Football. You can catch that, and the details are coming and he is 21 and five the last two years against the spread in that under the radar selection. Steve, good to see you. And uh, thanks for the selection again this week. Thanks, Mark. College football is even more exciting with some action on the line. And the games are even better when you're cashing in. And the voice of college football is the place to be to get the greatest value. Let's start with my picks. 75% against the money line. 58% against the spread. I've got a 40-year track record. In fact, in 2023, at $100 played per game, you would have netted over $9,300. And guess what? I'm just the warm-up act. Steve Merrill, our ace in the hole, show stopper from Wager Talk. Six years with the voice of college football, over 30 years in the industry. Steve gives us analysis on all the big games but you can't miss Steve's weekly under-the-radar pick, which went 21-5 and five against the spread the last two seasons. I repeat, 21-5 and five against the spread. You also get picks from some of our top analysts here at the Voice of College Football, including Steve Dace and Matt Zemick. Become a YouTube channel member or Patreon member for just $99 per month. Go to the main channel on YouTube, click join, and select the betting tier. Do the same thing on Patreon. Make 2024 a winner now.